Hello, this is Jordan, and this video is being recorded on the afternoon of Thursday, October 14th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are watching this on YouTube. In this video, I am going to analyze commodity inflation and when it helps gold. And this is something I've touched on months ago. So this, if you recall that video, this may sound familiar, but I'm going to apply it to today. And that is my historical analysis and what that can tell us uh, about today in terms of answering the question. And so in this first chart, we have a lengthy view of the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, the S&P 500 there in the middle. And uh, at the bottom, we have the CRB against the S&P. So that's commodities against the stock market. Now, if you look at the two vertical lines, those point out the two breakouts in inflation. We had uh, a breakout in the rate of inflation in 1965 and uh, then again in 1968. And both were significant. I mean, the second one, obviously, more so. Now, not surprisingly, uh, the peaks in the stock market uh, in terms of uh, uh, real terms, and if you look at the Dow, not the S&P, the Dow, its nominal peak was in 1966. And depending on how, you know what you measure the stock market against in real terms, via commodities, I mean, gold stocks, silver, metals, uh, the peak could either be 19, somewhere in the mid-60s and also 1968. I mean, you can see there at the bottom, uh, the commodities as a whole uh, started to outperform the S&P, I think in about 1969, so I, a, after that inflationary peak. Uh, however, if you look at metals prices in the 1960s, they started moving before the rest of commodities. So if you were applying the CRB to gold stocks, or excuse me, if you're applying the S&P to silver, for example, I mean, I think that bottom was in the mid '60s, maybe 1966. You know, gold stocks, I think 1960, and then you had a secondary bottom several years after that. So it depends how you measure it. Uh, but uh, and, and interestingly, if you look at today, I mean, the commodities have already they've already been outperforming the stock market for a while. So that peak in real terms, uh, there's a good chance that has already happened. But there's a couple things I want to point out. Um, and and uh, we're looking at the rate of inflation and also the stock market. And the stock market, if you look at the, the S&P, it still made a nominal high in 1968. And even again, although you know slightly so, in 1973. So, I mean, but after 1968... I mean, that 1968 to 1974, that was the real awful period for the stock market. And if you look at the rate of inflation, um, you can see that uh, during that period, at first, I think that was uh, 68, 69. You know, the first peak in the CPI uh, was around 6%, and then it came back. Uh, but the next, I mean, at, at, at the next turn, you know, in the early 70s when inflation turned up again, that's when it really became a problem. So based on that, the point I'm getting at is that the stock market in nominal terms, it can still perform well, even if inflation is rising. I mean, it's really, you know, historically, they say it becomes a problem for stocks when it's above 4%. Uh, but it's, it's really after the initial rise in inflation, when it sustains itself, that's when it becomes a problem for the stock market. And so here and now, if you look at the CPI, you fast forward today, you look at that chart in the top panel, you can see that the CPI has broken out. Um, I, I do think that uh, we are going to see the rate of inflation come back next year. Maybe I will be wrong, but you can see uh, you can see this, the CPI come back down maybe three or four percent, you know, maybe even two percent, who knows. But to me, it's really going to be the next rise in inflation that becomes a problem. And, you know, look, maybe there's a scenario where inflation only comes down to four percent and then it turns up again, it's going seven, eight percent in 23, 24. Then when that happens, you, you know, there's going to be problems for the stock market, gold is soaring, etc. cetera. But uh, the point of this first chart and you know I might be all over the place here, 
But the point is that it's, you know, it's stocks don't necessarily do poorly with the first initial rise in inflation. It's really when it sustains itself and when the market realizes this is going to be a problem. And who knows? Maybe that's happening right now. Uh, but that's what's important to remember. And, you know, when that happens, that's when you see gold start to perform better because the issue that we're in now, you know, in, in, regardless of the last you know week or two where we're seeing a rally in the sector in precious metals the issue for gold is i mean the market thinks that inflation is transitory temporary it's going to come down next year and at the same time we ha- we have had an increase in inflation but we've also had an increase in growth so when you have growth plus inflation that is bullish for commodities a lot more so than precious metals. And so that's what we've been seeing over the last 15 months or so. And in this chart, you know, we plot a bunch of data series from about 1965 to 1978. And you know, a couple of things to focus on here is, you know, one thing is the relationship between gold against commodities and the stock market. I mean, you could flip that around and say the CRB against gold. I mean, that's going to tend to align with the stock market. In other words, if commodities are outperforming gold, that's typically an environment where the stock market is going to perform well. And that's what we've been in. And you can look and and see it there in the charts, you know, those potential correlations. And so, you know, with respect to um, commodity, you know, commodities rising and, and, and leading to inflation, I mean, that is really what needs to happen for gold to retake leadership. It's if you just get a, a burst of commodity inflation for a year or two, the overall economy might be able to handle that. It's when the it's when commodity prices persist at high levels, you know, for a couple quarters or a year or two, you know, when that actually happens, the psychology around inflation changes. It's you know, those prices start to impact corporations and businesses and those are the things that you know lead to stagflation or worries about stagflation and that's when precious metals start to outperform again and so we are just not at that point yet and if you look at um, I, I pointed out you know one signal when we could be at that point is when the Fed hikes rates because that's what happened in 1976 or you know, the Fed I, I think gold bottomed like a month or two. Uh, or maybe three, three or four months before the Fed started hiking rates again, uh, and so that that was a signal, a positive signal for gold. Although it seems like a contrary signal. Um, but if you just look at you know you look at what happened, commodity prices, um, and you know also it's important to keep in mind you know, my previous explanation, uh, high you know high commodity prices persisting causes all these issues, hurts the economy, you know, that's when gold gold sniffs that out, gold starts to outperform in nominal and real terms. And at the same time, you know, the, the stock market does not do well in that environment. So it all it all relates together and the issue for gold coming up is yes, we are having this decent rally now, but over the next couple of quarters if there's any hint that inflation is going to come down and there's not worries about growth, that's still an environment where the stock market can make another move to new highs. And then gold is going to soften again, you know, at least until they do the first rate hike. So I know that's a lot of talking to take in from this video, but, uh, you know, I could have given you, going back to the, question you know when commodity inflation helps gold um, it's really when commodity inflation persists and it starts to impact psychology around inflation you know it it starts to hurt corporations consumers etc etc and you know that's when you start to see precious metals you know retake the leadership in a commodity bull market and we're just we're not at that point yet and it's it's probably going to take some time. And again, I just go back to the, the rate hike thesis. Uh, you know, that could be the huge ca- bullish catalyst 
uh, that we're all waiting for. So hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Follow all my work here on the YouTube channel and also the dailygold.com. Thank you so much, and I look forward to doing another video for you guys in the days and weeks ahead.